Hey there, I'm James. Welcome to another short video on how to twine. In this video, we're going to cover variables. And I'll show you what I mean by that right away. I'm going to start a new story here. I'm going to call it variable test. And I'm going to create just a simple, simple little narrative here. A dog is outside. And we're going to say, give him a couple options. Go inside. And we'll say the inside, we'll call that passage A1. We'll call this start. We'll do the lowercase start, it's easy to remember. And we'll give him a chance to stay outside. And we will call that A2. And we have our two passages, and we're going to collapse those two passages into the same passage. So we're going to say, whoa, 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 maybe A1 and A2 are bad names because I can't remember what they do. We'll call this in, and we'll call this out instead. There we go. We can get rid of A1 and A2. Boop, boop. All right, so if you went in, you go inside. We're going to go to a passage called next. Or we'll go, yeah, we'll call it uh, owner. Because the owner is going to show up and see what you did. Uh, you stay outside. Uh, time passes. Owner. And then we're going to say, owner comes home. Now, this is not a very interesting story, but it is one about a dog who either goes outside uh, or stays inside, and then their owner comes home. What we want to do is to make the choice matter. We want to make the choice matter so that whether the dog was inside or outside, <coughs> Something different happens here. Uh, for the sake of this story, it doesn't have to be something too interesting. Um, but we need a way to tell the computer what choice we've made and for that to matter here. And to do that, we're going to have to put something into the computer's memory called a variable. We're going to be working with a thing called a Boolean variable. Boolean variable. Uh, which another word for that would be like a true false variable, which just means that a Boolean variable only has two values, either true, it's either true or it's false. Um, and so we're going to be setting things to either true or false. So what we're going to do is create a variable called, it doesn't matter which one, we'll just call a variable, we'll call it inside. And we're going to use a little bit of computer code here. Uh, so follow carefully, because the computer cares a lot about your spelling, your punctuation, your capitalization, and everything else. So everything has to kind of be just right. We're going to say set dollar sign. And now we can use any word we want. Dollar sign is the code that tells Twine, hey, the next word is a variable. So we can call this anything we want. But we should probably call it something we'll remember, and we'll call it inside, because this is the variable that's going to tell the computer the dog went inside. Set inside to true. Now, anytime the player goes to this passage, the variable inside will be set to true. So notice over here I put a little bit of code, over here I put no code. And up here, I put no code. Up here, I just have the choice. And when they make the choice to go inside, it sets a variable to true. If they go to outside, it doesn't do anything. And then they both end up back down here. So now I can test for the variable with a little bit more code. Okay, I can say if inside is true, 
then, then do everything that is in these brackets. Notice that I have a, a bracket here, and I've got a bracket right here. They're right next to these parentheses. Any text that I put inside, inside these brackets, not after or before, anything I put inside these brackets is going to trigger and, and exist in the game only if this statement is true. So let's just look here. If you went inside, it set the variable to true, and then we came down here. Then this text should display. We'll say, uh, owner is happy to find you inside. If we go this route, it does not get set to true. And so it won't be true, and this text will not fire. Let me show you how that works, just, just so you can see. And I go inside, <clears throat> and click Next. You can say the owner comes home. Owner's happy to find you inside. And if I go outside and time passes, the owner comes home, but it did not it did not show that other text because the variable was not true. That's because it never happened in this iteration of the game. I never went to that passage, right? I went this way instead, and the program never encountered the code that said set inside to true. Now you notice at the end there, it just said the owner comes home and nothing else. Um, if you'd like it to say something for the other result too, you might think, well, I have to set another variable over here, but you don't. You can just say, if this is true, then run this code. Else, run this. So owner is happy to find you outside. Else means if this if statement is not true, then do this instead. Okay. If this variable is true, do the stuff in this box. Otherwise, do the stuff in this box, okay? So let's try that again. Play the game. If we go inside, happy to find you inside. But if we go outside, happy to find you outside. So that's a very simple way to, um, to make that work. Um, just keep in mind here, let me just cut and paste these onto a screen so you can have like the last screenshot or whatever. This is all the code that you need to know. Set, if, and else. You need to know how to set a variable. You need to know how to test for a variable with an if command. And you need to know how to say else, meaning the, the thing was not true, right? If you can do those three things, uh, then, then you can do everything we learned in this video. One, I guess one final point would be this. Uh, better put that back. No, it's not here. Sometimes people get confused about where to place this command, the set command. Sometimes people think they want to place it in the same place where the choice is. They want to say, go inside, set this to true. And then if you go outside, set... Uh, outside to true and this is not going to work what's going to happen here is as soon as I start the game in these passages the computer is reading both of those pieces of code and setting both variables to true it's setting inside to true it's setting outside to true so no matter where I go this just set the same variable to true again. Oh, weird. Oh, the owner is happy to find you inside. Now, notice it didn't have an outside statement because I didn't say if outside is true. I just, that's just the else statement. So inside was set to true because I put it in up here. So if you get this thing where you're, you're playing through and you get to the end and the wrong things are happening, uh, the variable are, is, seems to not be working quite the way you thought it was. First thing to check, well, one thing to check is the spelling because it cares a lot about how you spell it. Uh, the second thing to check is, did I put these things in the right place? It should always go, these should always go in the passage after you make the choice. So here we make the choice. 
to go inside and then tell the computer that you went inside. Always tell them after the choice is made, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna, it's gonna run at weird times and you're gonna get weird results that you didn't want. All right, that's it for this video. Um, in the next one, we'll talk about uh, how to use numbers as variables as well. Thanks.